Settle yourself into flat tray neutral spine and we'll start off with a massive sigh. So take a big sigh and let your ribs drop down. All right, pop your hands down by your side again and then just relax your tummy, your abdomen. Next, I want you to think about gently pulling the tummy in, but also lifting it up. So it's an in and uplift with the abdomen. All right, we'll work on the shoulders next. So inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, slide the shoulder blades down and think about the shoulders being wide. Just make sure the ribs don't pop up again. Try and keep the ribs down. All right, let's go again. Inhale, shoulders to ears. As you exhale, slide the shoulder blades down, but think of gently lengthening out to the top of your head. All right, now we're just going to arc one hip to the ceiling, come back to the middle, arc one hip to the ceiling, come back to the middle, arc one hip to the ceiling, come back to the middle. Try and keep the legs still so you get lovely gentle movement into your back. A couple more and pause. Now take your arms up to the ceiling turn the palms in, reach your fingers up to the ceiling and then focus on getting the back of your shoulders to lower and melt into the mat. Again, reach up really high, exhale down. Now we'll alternate, so take one arm up gently, lower it down again so the shoulder melts into the mat, other side, lift it up and lower it down. Carry on alternating but think about walking the back of your shoulders out across the room. Then pause, pop your hands together, lengthen through the elbows, but leave your shoulders down. And then inhale, take your arms above your head until your thumbs reach the floor. Really think of length through the elbows. Don't leave them bent, lengthen out and lower. As you lower, just check the ribs again by taking a couple of big sighs so that they drop to the hips. Good. As you stay there, reaching your fingers away from your toes, turn the knuckles in, turn the palms in, turn the knuckles in, turn the palms in. Carry on two or three more. And then pause, have the knuckles in, and then just take a big swoop of the arms back down to your hips. Good. And then I want you to just take your legs and snug your knees into your chest to let the lower back open out. All right, just snug in and stay there for a moment. Then release the legs off a little bit, snug them back in. Release the legs off a little bit, snug them back in. Release the legs off a little bit, Snug them back in, but close the knees towards each other gently and then take the legs into circles. Gentle circles, one way for three and then the other way for three. And then pause, just bring the knees in close to your chest. Think of the lower back opening. That's it. Then lower your legs down, close the feet, close the knees. Have your hands down by your side, lower the legs to one side. As you do, think of the underarms drawing down to the hips so that you don't let the shoulders lift. Stay there for a little moment longer. Think of the top hip lengthening away from the underarm on the open side. When you're ready, take a sniff. Then as you blow like you're blowing a candle flame to make it flicker, take yourself back to the middle with the legs, carry on going. Don't shift the hips, just go all the way over down to the other side. Again, just check the shoulder hasn't lifted. Think of the underarm drawing down to the hip to keep it placed. All right, think of the top hip lengthening away from the underarm on the open side and then blow to come back into the middle and pause. Cross one leg, snug over the other at the knee and then bring that all in towards your chest. We're looking for a tightness in your bottom. Think of the tightness releasing. Think of the muscles relaxing. Breathe into your tightness. Now I'd like you to take the legs a little bit to one side and a little bit to the other. So it's a small movement across your midline. 
good. Then come straight back into the middle and take three circles one way. One, two, three. Three circles the other. Three, two, one. Release the legs off a little bit, snug them back in. Release the legs off a little bit, snug them back in. Then lower the legs down till the foot touches the floor, but stay within that shape. All right, pop your hands by your side and then just lower your legs gently to one side. Keep the shoulders placed. Just go as far as feels reasonable to you. Don't go so far the shoulders lift. Blow to come back into the middle. Go down to the other side. Again, just as far as feels reasonable for you, your tummy's in. And then blow to come back into the middle. We'll do exactly the same thing on the other side. So change over, snug it in. Snug it until you feel a tightness in your bottom. Release that off a little bit, snug back in. Release off a little bit, snug it back in. Stay snugged in and circle three one way. And then three the other. And then pause, snug right into the middle and breathe into your tightness. Five, four, three, two, one. We can take the legs a little bit to one side, a little bit to the other across the midline just to help the fibers loosen off. And then keeping that shape, lower the legs down till the foot comes in contact with the mat. Pop your hands by your side. If your back's feeling quite vulnerable, you might choose to tilt the tray. If not, you're fine in neutral. Lower the legs to one side. The tummy stays in to support the back. Keep the shoulders placed. When you're ready, inhale there. Blow like you're blowing a candle flame to make it flicker. Go down to the other side. When you're there, check the shoulder hasn't lifted, thinking of the underarm drawing to the hip helps. Then come back to the middle and pause. Okay, just pull in your tummy and tilt your tray. Stay there for a moment and then just lift one hip towards the opposite shoulder, keeping the legs still. Come back to a tilted tray, lift across again. Come back to a tilted tray. Yeah, that's it, one more, same thing. Lift across, keep the lift going, keep breathing. And then come all the way back into flat tray, neutral spine. We'll roll the spine away. So when you're ready, pull in the tummy, tilt the tray, press with the feet, blow to go. Gently roll the spine away. Think of blowing a candle flame. When you get to your top point, just check you're not much higher than the shoulder blade height. The bottom of the shoulder blades would be perfect. Then replace each and every vertebrae bone by bone. You're lengthening on the mat as you peel the spine down. Come all the way back into flat tray neutral spine and we'll go again. Pull in the tummy, tilt the tray, press through the feet, blow to go, roll the spine away. Inhale at the top, check your shoulders are wide. Think of the links of a bicycle chain as you replace each vertebrae being a chain bone by bone, chain, link by link, till you're all the way down. All right, we're going to go again, but we'll add a little, a little movement in. So peel away, inhale at the top, check your shoulders are wide, blow till you're halfway down, pause. Now imagine there's a small hoop around you and just trace your trunk around the hoop one way. Try to keep your legs still, trace the other way. Lovely, then come down a few more vertebrae and then trace the hoop one way with your trunk. Lovely, trace it the other. Super, come down a few more vertebrae again, once more through, and then all the way back into flat tray, neutral spine. Lovely, just pop your hands behind your head. Lift your head up. When you're ready, you're going to very gently press your head back into your hands and you're going to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen out through the top of your head. Keep blowing, keep going. You should feel a good stretch coming into the back of the neck. Keep it a gentle stretch. And if you want to, and you're okay with it, take your nose into tiny little circles in the air. You're still pressing your head back into your hands. Then change direction with the circles if you want to. Pause. Carry 
on, pressing the head back into the hands and lengthening and take tiny wee movements of the nose side to side. Like you're drawing an inch to one side, inch to the other with the top of the nose. And then release back down. 